this uh, is a little bit more visible when the salt and the grime and some of the snow and ice gets on the roadway. That was the Department of Transportation back in December introducing all of us to a new experiment. Instead of using white paint in construction zones, they're testing out reflective orange striping in the zoo interchange. There's currently three different areas. Take a look at the map here. The east and westbound lanes of 94 from the zipper merge to the 45 split. Also, the northbound lanes of 894. But 12 News noticed a major problem. It's more difficult to see the lines when it's dark and also when it's raining. Do you think they actually work? Tweet us right now using the hashtag WISN12. We may read some of your comments live on the air in just a little bit. But first, 12 News' Ben Hutchison joins us live from I-94. And Ben, you finally spoke to DOT officials about these new lines they're testing. Yeah, we're in a little traffic right now along I-94. We've been contacting them for weeks to try to get some more feedback on this test and how things were going. They say they were waiting for more response from nearly 2,000 drivers about what they think about it. Now, while most of the response has been positive, they do admit that when it's wet out here, it makes it hard to see the lanes. Now that the snow is gone, we can see the surface in the zoo interchange, and there's more orange than white when it comes to road markings. It was an improvement over the white lines during the winter when all the salt was on the road. They were able to uh, differentiate where the lanes were. DOT spokesperson Mike Pirates says feedback from drivers has been around 80% positive, especially after a new coat of orange paint. There are glass beads that can be mixed in when the paint is applied to help create uh, the reflectivity of the paint. Those can wear off. One issue is wet roadways. This is video of I-94 East last week during heavy rain. The orange lines are almost invisible. We showed the same video to pirates. We always encourage drivers to slow down and drive at appropriate speeds. Uh, certainly in low light conditions, you are driving at the mercy and at the capabilities of your headlights. He says there's no easy fix. David Kilb is a paving expert. He likes the orange paint but worries about rainy visibility. In viewing that, right here you can't see anything. So, yeah, uh, it's going to, because of the reflection of that light off the water, they're going to have a problem no matter what you put down there. He says he understands the challenge the DOT faces. Their focus remains on doing what's best for drivers. Whether it's improving the orange paint, improving the white paint, or improving anything else that we use as a tool for that, we're going to keep trying to make things better as best we can. And we're coming up on 76th right now. Again, a lot of traffic out here tonight. Now, the DOT says they'll continue testing it for the remainder of the year. Then they'll talk with the Federal Highway Administration on whether it should be continued in the future. Along I-94, Ben Hutchison, WISN 12 News. All right, Ben, thanks for the look out there on the roadways. And, of course, we did ask you to tweet your thoughts on the new orange lines they're testing out using the hashtag WISN12. We can take a look at some of these. It says, here's Mr. McKenzie the third. The orange lines are definitely an improvement. All lines should be orange, not just in construction areas. Uh, Mary here says, uh, why can't our freeways use reflectors? We've actually been told because of the plowing situation out there that uh, could be an issue and also it is a ex bigger expense than the lines themselves. Another person here, Scott McMichael, says the lines are terrible. We've also posted video on our Facebook page. Be sure to watch it and post your comments there. We'll continue to follow the experiment.